Hey everyone, I've really enjoyed all your photos and videos of the trumpets that you've made at home. Do keep sending them in. I've made mine here, I haven't quite finished, and I've used a paper towel roll and I've used a bag to decorate it. So one of these gift bags, here's another one I've got, just with a different pattern. So just a gift bag and I've cut it to um, decorate the outside of the paper towel roll and also to make my bell, I've used the rest of the bag. And then I've just put some, the um, handle from the bag <laughs> around this part just to, you know, spruce it up a bit. Uh, the only thing I need to do next is to attach the mouthpiece. And for my mouthpiece, I uh, had an old soy, soy sauce bottle and pretty hard plastic, but we managed to cut the top, top off it and it's a pretty good size. So all I need to do now is tape that onto the top. So I've got some little bits of tape here. So I think I'll just pop it down this way. And there's one piece and we'll go to the opposite side. It's two pieces, yeah, it's pretty good. And then we'll put one over here. And again, let's go to the opposite side and do our fourth piece. There we go. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. Not bad. So now I'm going to buzz into my trumpet. So remember to buzz. Your lips are together and a little smile on those little lip corners. And you're going to buzz into the trumpet, so let's give it a go. <laughs> hey, keep keep watching because we're gonna I'm gonna show you some of the pictures that have been sent in already, some photos of the trumpets that I've received. There's even a trombone that's been made, which comes up in a video. So keep watching, we've got photos, and there are some really cool videos that have been sent in. And remember, if you haven't sent it in yet, keep sending. So here we have Anna's shiny homemade trumpet. And then we're gonna see Adam boogieing down on his homemade trumpet. Here's Madison's homemade trumpet. Can you see her mouthpiece and her tube and her bell? Next, we're gonna hear Delma playing his homemade trumpet. Good job, Delma. Hi, I'm Delma. Today I made my own homemade trumpet. A little bit sorry if you guys think that this thing way too big, but also good things that I put a safety strip down here so that you can, when you're not using it, bugs won't come in and then just go in. <coughs> Here's Kat with her homemade trumpet. Good job, Kat. And then we're going to hear Finn playing his trombone. <laughs> yeah, trombone. Can you see how Finn has actually made a slide for his trombone? Great buzzing too, Finn. This is my trombone. <laughs> Good job, everyone. If you haven't sent me in your video or photos yet, please do. Do you remember how we talked about the conch shell being used as a very, very early trumpet-like instrument? We're gonna watch a video that's filmed in Florida, which is in America. And in Florida, it seems like people love playing the conch shell. Have a listen. I began blowing a conch shell uh, 
probably as soon as I began to being able to walk. My father taught me how to play, he taught my other brothers how to play the shell as well. And the traditions of blowing a conch shell in the Keys and in, in Key West dates back uh, several hundred years. There wasn't a ship that went out that didn't have at least one conch shell on it uh, for communications. What I have here is a, a, uh, a conch that has actually been what the, the, the technical term is called conked. Someone hit it with a hammer. And that hammer mark then creates a vacuum. The snail falls right out of the shell and then you can prepare it. Now this one here has had that spiral end removed. The, the shell is then bored out a little to create a, a mouthpiece. And then you're able to produce the, the sound. <laughs> The mouth position is a, is a pucker, and uh, by changing the, the pitch of uh, of your of your lips and and the the, the movement of your tongue, you can um, change the the tone. What most people will do is they'll get a shell. They'll say, "Oh, okay, I can just do that then." And that's traditionally what most people will do. What you want to do though is pull from that gut and then let it go. Some of us have taken it to another level where we'll play portions of uh, composed music and we'll give you a little, quick little sample of a section from the saber dance. The advice I would give to aspiring conch shell musicians is to go and buy a conch shell, take a deep breath, and give it your best shot. Anybody can do this. You just gotta get past the fear of putting a shell next to your mouth, watching your friends ridicule you while you go out and learn how to play a conch shell. And of course, I invite you to come to Key West. I'd be more than happy to show you how to play one of these things myself. Well, that looked fun playing all those conch shell trumpets, didn't it? I bet you'd like to have a go. How about you try drawing or painting a conch shell? Maybe you could draw or paint or design a conch shell trumpet. If you do, send through your photos or videos. Love to see them all and keep making those trumpets or trombone. Good job, everyone. See you soon.